Hi, this is Dean Graziosi, and welcome back to this week's blog. Uh, hey, if you're new to the site, congratulations for being here. Uh, please poke around the site, click all the links down on this side, watch some of the old video blogs. Now, if you have questions, a lot of the questions you may have may have already been answered, so you can go in and search the forums, because sometimes you might have a question you know, how do you do a tax sale? How do you do it with no money down? What, what's the real contract you use for an assignment? What's a double close? How do I find buyers? What kind of uh, bandit sign should I use? Believe me, all those questions have been asked and the wonderful students and successful students and newbies have talked about it and answered those questions right here on this site. So when you have a question, check and see if it's already here and if not, post it. We had amazing people on this site. This is just a site of people helping people. Remember, when the whole world tells you you're crazy for wanting to try something new, that real estate won't work or anything else you want to do doesn't work or thinking positive doesn't work, come to this site. This is the site that shows you everything and anything you can conceive is possible. Dreams are, in, are being answered every single day on this site. Hey, you know, it's funny. There's a, I just got this magazine. This is the Insider's Edge magazine. It's a magazine that gets handed out at our live events that uh, it's really awesome. They go around, all, you know, there are live events that are going on all around the country. Um, and this is the first time I saw it. I know I was interviewed for the magazine. In fact, they got a big old picture of me in here, which is pretty cool. It's a great little article. Um, and they got some pictures of, some, of, they did an interview with Joe Jurek and Stacy. If you guys are watching, hey, good seeing you. It's an awesome interview. I just read it. Congratulations for being in the magazine. Um, and let's see what else we have here. There's a couple of things. Sorry, I'm just flipping through this while you guys are, we talk about tax liens in here. And uh, Here's another student, Chad Maryhew. Awesome. Chad's a great young guy. He's a youth pastor. He's been doing amazing things. He makes uh, some great money with real estate so he can follow his passion and help teens get on the right track for a successful life. And then there's this really good looking guy here. No, I'm just kidding. There's my family, if you could see a picture. Um, okay, so the reason I'm bringing this magazine up, not just to talk about pictures of me and, uh, and our, some of our successful students who made the magazine, but it's funny, I didn't write these, but it says, in the back page, it says the seven deadly roadblocks to success. And it's funny, so many of the things that I share with you guys or I preach week after week are in here and these weren't written by me. So it says the seven deadly roadblocks are fear, number one. Fear of something different. Fear of people thinking you, that you're crazy. Fear of failure. Fear can be paralyzing. But you know what? Just think back. A good way to overcome fear is think of other things in the past that you were fearful of. And But once you got through them, everything changed. Now, I hate so many times I go back to talking about kids. But literally this morning, this isn't a made-up story. I never make up stories. But this one is just dear to my heart. Because this morning I brought my daughter to school. And her best friend, and if you guys have young kids or had young kids, my daughter's only four, four and a half. She's in preschool. And her best friend for the first half of the year, her and her best friend don't really talk anymore. Her best friend got a new friend. And my daughter is so afraid to go to school without her best friend. And literally this morning, I was bringing her to class, and she made me carry her four and a half years old. And I love carry. I'll carry her until she doesn't want me to anymore. But she was afraid to go into class. She said, Daddy, please, can I just hang out with you today? Then I, I don't want to go to school. And she was so afraid. And I felt so bad, and finally she shared it. Katie, her friend Katie, doesn't talk to her anymore. And, and, you know, I did my best to share with her that that's life. And, you know, a four-year-old, I'm doing the best to do what I do with you guys each week with my four-year-old. So I finally convinced her to go into the class. And she was so afraid, and she looked back, and she was looking at me with her big eyes. And I felt horrible. I literally had a knot in my stomach all day until her mom picked her up at 1 o'clock today and called and said she had the most amazing day. How many times in life have you been afraid to talk in front of an audience or present an opportunity to your boss or ask a girl or a guy on a date? All those things that you're so fearful of and then after you do it, it's like this, ah, this calming feeling. You know, I, might, I know my daughter in her little space today had that. So what are you afraid of? Look in the past. You've had fearful things that have turned out amazing. Don't be afraid. Go for it. So I'm not going to go deep on all of them, but two is being lazy. Uh, three is lack of perseverance. Number four is pessimism. Listen, we talked about that week after week. Here's number five, not taking responsibility. It's someone else's fault. I didn't do this. Listen, in a lot of cases, it is someone else's fault. I get it, but it doesn't mean they're going to fix it. So you have to. So you need to take responsibility for where you are and especially where you want to go. Number six, picking the wrong people to hang out with. I don't think I could stress that anymore. Uh, we talk about that week after week. Who you hang around is who you become. If you want to know how you think about the world, if you're positive or negative, find the top three, four people you hang out with and you're right in the middle. So if three of them are really negative and one's kind of positive, well, you're somewhere in the middle. Only because the people you hang around rub off on you. 
it is what it is. So if, if there's a lot of negative people in your life and you love them, don't stop loving them. Just find some new people. Spend more time here. Search and find people that want that bigger future just like you do. Um, and number seven is no vision. You're looking at what's going on in your life right here, six inches away. And a lot of times it's craziness. I know that. But you got to sometimes look over the craziness and have a vision of where you want to go so you can be engaged, so you can push to get there. So uh, that's, I think that was, uh, that was really awesome to see. It's a great magazine and, and some really great points to, to live by and understand that anything is possible and you can do it. You know, one last thing, you know, I don't watch the news. I don't read the paper and, I, and some of you might disagree with that and I apologize, but I just can't. I can't take in the negative. I don't have time. I can't do all the things I do with you and I have 50 real estate deals going on right now. I'm finishing up a new book. I do these blogs every week. We have hundreds of employees around the country. We have live events. We have our top students becoming teachers. I mean, the list goes on. You know all the things that you see. Could you imagine all the things behind the scenes? And plus, I try really hard to be a really good dad. Um, it's important to me. So I decided that news is not a part of my life uh, and, and reading about it or watching it because I just can't go down the negativity route and I basically don't have time for it. But I know I, from everybody telling me that the government almost shut down. I know you're probably saying, really, Dean, you didn't know that? No, I didn't really know it until like Sunday when someone shared the whole uh, process that was going on. But here's one thing that supports what I do of not watching the news. There is nothing I could have done to stop the government if they were going to close down. There's nothing I can do right now to fix the budget. Now, I can vote. I can suggest. I can do my part. I could pay a lot of taxes. Um, but I can't change that. The people I worry about are those kids that you saw earlier, my family. The people I worry about are you, my students, that I can give techniques to and capabilities and wisdom. That's all I know. So I don't, you don't have to be as extreme as me. But if the news is hindering you, if the, the current events paralyze you of where's our country going, what's going to happen, I don't think our country's going in a good direction. But I don't think I can do anything about it except protect my family and my income and help you do the same thing. I'm Dean Graziosi. I'll talk to you next week.